I'm just going to start by saying I'm not a professional artist and I'm just doing a project for English, or media assistant. Um, I'm painting a photo of Van Gogh taken by Victor Norton. I wanted to mix his style with mine by using his technique, which is using like strokes for the background. I hope to blend it together to make it look abstract and tie in different colors like the blue and the light blue and the orange. This is a photo taken by Photo Tractus. Um, he shared it on his Flickr page and it had the rights and what they were. And you can click on it and it'll explain them to you. For the hair, I just made it really strokey because the gray hairs were in little spritz and it wasn't all one color. For the face, I started out lighter with the light gray and then add a darker gray to the shadows and working my way up to a darker color so if I did make a mistake it wouldn't be too hard to cover it up. U.S. copyright laws allow for works created before 1923 to be in the public domain, and so that's why I chose this photo because it was taken in, like, in 1886. And I also made sure I gave credit to the photographer himself and the person who shared it. And this also brings up fair use, which is copying and um, using any material done for a limited purpose. And since most of Van Gogh's art is in color, I decided to make it somewhat my style by using black and white solid colors unlike blended colors like blue and orange. I ended up changing all of the features so they're not all the same.
I did start off with a darker color in the suit, which I shouldn't have, but in the end I changed it. I focused on only using smaller brushes to give it a better detail. <coughs> and then working throughout the paint helps the paint get tacky or close to dry, so it'll help you blend more evenly. I tried to define that his eyes and nose more, trying to make it more shaded than bright on both sides to kind of give it definition. kind of added more shading to the hair as well to kind of make it look like it's reflecting onto his shirt from the light above. The suit, the eyes and the ear was the trickiest part and I just kind of skipped doing it like consistently. When you're trying to shade, you always want to use a color related to the color you're using. Say I used a green, I was going to use a light green for a highlight and a dark green for a shadow. Because otherwise if you use a black or a brown in a colored painting, it'll start to look dirty and it won't look good at all. And also having the right proportion helps a lot because if one eye is bigger than the other, or if the mouth is bigger than the ear, then it's not realistic. So after this paint dried a little bit, I took like a wettish brush with a little bit of gray on it and shaded more and added dark into the beard along with different highlights of different areas of the painting. For the ear, I used a reference of a picture of a painting of an ear. Um, with using the black and white, I just used black as my dark color and gray as a highlight. As long as you keep blending, it should turn out to look like a normal ear, or whatever feature you're looking at.
Also, I didn't intend for this to look exactly like the painting, since I did want to make it mine, as well as use his reference or style. With this suit, I kind of just winged it because it was giving me a hard time, and I think it looks good in the end, but if I could change it, I would go back and work more on that. In the original picture, his eyes were really bright, so I kind of tried to keep it that way. Thought it looking too scary. Out of depth throughout the mouth. And... That's pretty much it. I want to give credit to my second block teacher, Miss Brooke, for editing this whole video. So thank you.